What's up guys, back in today with another reaction to Dragon Maidess, this time with episode 3. Very excited for, for today's episode, it's the first two episodes of the season, been absolutely brilliant. Uh, definitely on par with uh, season 1, or if not better in my opinion, with some beautiful animation in the first two episodes, as well as a really interesting story of Alulu getting to know her and her past, and kind of seeing her integrate into uh, Kobayashi's little family home she's got. Is, uh, yeah, just so cute and so amazing. I uh, absolutely love the vibe of the show as you guys can probably tell from the first episode but uh, looking forward to see what happens today as I can't quite remember what was in the preview. I'm not, not really 100% sure there was a preview but we did also meet some kind of devil uh, looking guys last episode as well so maybe they'll be more involved in the story going forward and hopefully we'll see Luko as dragon form in the anime at some point going forward as well. But make sure you let me know what you guys think of this one down in the comment section. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys do like the video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions. Get right to the episode guys. Okay, let's go guys. Not sure what I skipped to the end in there. I think they actually refer to her as their mother. <laughs> this girl's figure way too romantic for her age. Although it's not really any different from usual, is it for her? Oh, Alulu's here. Competitor. <laughs> ba, ba, la, ba, ba. Let's go, man. I fucking love this opening. Who's that old woman then? And there's a new guy there as well, isn't there? There's an old woman with a little toy. <laughs> Enjoy. So that's the that's the new guy. He seems to be friends with Alulu. Might be that kid from what we see uh, from her past, maybe growing up a little bit, perhaps. Or it could just be some random guy, which is probably more likely. Let's go, man. Jealous. <laughs> You're a transfer student, after all. <laughs> None of that matters when she's cute. She can be suspicious as she wants. But it looks like she wants some cards. Huh. Fair enough. Well, you did kind of walk an hour in the toilet, but I don't think she was really phased by that. <laughs> I, think that's a, I don't think that's a punishment for Psych Hour anyway. Yeah. Oh, is that Lukoa? Well, everyone's coming around today. What a point of view. 
That's what, so that's what it looks like, okay, from the other side. I think I'd be pretty annoyed if that was obstructing my vision like that. What do you mean? There. Yeah, that's, she could actually do that. I thought she was just talking relatively, but I imagine she could actually do that. But yeah, you don't actually want to, do you? Because it's an experience she's gone through to get here, so. And this is a big fucking boob club, isn't it? <laughs> So she just waits in here. She wasn't actually on the toilet. She does want to pay. And forget about that. But that's because it's easy to resolve, isn't it? A simple sorry, or even just the fact that she's regretting it, it's good enough. happened <laughs> oh I see <laughs> she locked her in with her Yeah. <laughs> a bit of a delinquent. A lot of people are. Yeah, if when we actually look back, I remember from first season, she actually didn't really like her because she was the trying to be a popular girl anyway. Like she was just too cute. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. I agree. The guy is so nice, isn't she? <laughs> yeah, but looks like uh, Psycho has got a, another cute friend to play with now. In the same place as the other one, so best of both worlds for her. Looks like Lulu's perking up as well. Well played, Luca. Well played. All while these guys are out. They're all sleeping. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Ugh. 
I'm a bit bored of it or something. Ah. That's not nice. This doesn't look really look that great in it, does she? Doesn't really look anything like Toru's fit either, <laughs> but we'll, we'll forget about that. What you said is like a saint. <laughs> I swear, a voice act is so unique, bro. Like the quietest, most soft voice you ever heard. <laughs> Got a bit demon. The kids are playing in the other room. Oh, are they trying to. I, I didn't catch the first line, so they're trying to make her an outfit. A uh, maid outfit. <laughs> Oh, and off she goes. I guess all she does have in her mind is food. Why? Oh, I don't think anyone was. That's some old school, old school outfit. This one's going to be good. Yeah. No Daifuku. What's a Daifuku? The outfit is made by the person, not the clothes. Yes, so. Maybe she was a bit too good at this. <laughs> Yeah. Ah, she couldn't come up with one. Same. Yeah, I don't think it would fit around the uh, the breast area. <laughs> oh wow, she actually looks pretty damn cute in that. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> Align. Oh, sideways. Oh no, an actual line. That cute, everyone just went and takes a photo of her. This is a pretty damn good in that, to be fair though. I guess that is true as well. Yeah, she she always does wear like a certain tie and stuff, doesn't she? <laughs> Mendox se made otaku. <laughs> Oh yeah. Probably because you're way too used to it saying every day. Damn, Katniss winning big time. Oh, actually, Psycho has got quite a bit as well. <laughs> and she's done for. Yeah, this is the baker. Noise making baker. I don't know how she makes food so loud. First opening. <laughs> Art go bomber. Not sure what that means. Oh shit. <laughs> what is that chair? Holy shit. Think <laughs> she's better than he could ever be. You don't understand. <laughs> I guess we gotta to talk to this old guy. That's oh, guy's like a woodcarver. That's pretty damn sick. Yeah. Yeah, challenge. Ooh. See, all I remember from this guy is just him um, swinging about in the opening of the first one, just 360. <laughs> and then making a load of noise. Her challenge is walking in a straight line. <laughs> And she dies if she walks off it. Oh no.
Yeah, she has got Psych out to play with, to be fair. I guess Tori could take up some hobbies with Ilulu or something. True. Not really. <laughs> but they should work on something together, maybe. Idol worship. With that, you. <laughs> oh crap! What's going on here? Ah. Oh. <laughs> so she's gonna become an idol worshipper. To Kobayashi, if she already worships. <laughs> oh, she's lost it. Oh, fuck's sake. Dolls? Oh, she really went overboard here. Love lick kiss. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> These guys are dead. Fuck it up. What an absolute nightmare to go into. Yeah. Guess they got a team up against him. They both looked like they had more money than him, though. <laughs> ah, and that's it. Huh. It's the usual ending. This isn't the usual ending, is it? What's going on here? Was it a special one for the first two episodes or something? A little recap of the first season as well. Not sure what's going on here. Maybe it's indicating maybe a new arc or something coming up after this episode. Not really sure to be honest. This is different though, isn't it? Definitely don't remember seeing this. And it's not definitely not the same song either. Ah, the infamous beach episode. It's a normal, uh, normal length as well. Maybe this is just another one of Tori's works <laughs> from her idol worship. Yeah. Well, it is gaming, isn't it, for Fafnir? What else would it be apart from gaming for Fafnir? Getting out and angry? Mad and angry? I could tell us. Interesting picture. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys for watching the episode. Really awesome episode again. I'm, I'm not really sure what happened at the end there with that new ending. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to continue like that as I really enjoyed the, uh, the ending we got in the first episode. So I'm kind of hoping that comes back to be honest. That last one there uh, was good, but yeah, nowhere near as good as the ending of the first two episodes in my opinion with everyone kind of involved in the song but yeah let me know what you guys thought about this episode it was an absolute crazy episode yet again uh, with uh, the main uh, main bit being a Lulu kind of getting integrated in the system trying to find some hobbies although I don't actually think she's got some in the end but she did finally get to play with the kids um, Toru as well to looking for some hobbies and maybe that'll be going into the next episode as well as we had a little talk there towards uh, towards the end about Fafnir and Lucoa's hobbies as well 
seems like everyone's got some except for Tori, but um, yeah, just went a little bit too far there at the end. But yeah, just another really, really awesome episode. The season has been absolutely great so far. Um, in my opinion, kind of surpassing season one uh, kind of already uh, in the first three episodes with the animation and the, the comedy and the kind of quality in these first three episodes. Uh, I think this is just like a little step above so far anyway. Of course, it could go up or down from here. But um, again, let me know what you guys thought about this episode down in the comment section. Uh, leave a like on the video if you guys did like this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date with these reactions. I'll be back next week with episode four. So look forward to that, guys. And have a good rest of your day.